Hi, my name's Rob Scott from UC Today, bringing you the latest news and conversation from the unified communications and collaboration space. So today I'm joined by Nigel Dunn from Jabra, and we're going to be discussing two new game changing products. So hold on tight. But for now, welcome, Nigel. Hi, Rob. Nice to be here. Thanks. Hey, thanks for joining me, Nigel. And uh, two new products. So we've got quite a bit to get through. But um, before we do, how about we just do a quick intro? Tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do for Jabra, please. Sure. Yeah, I, I'm the managing director of Jabra and it's uh, EMEA North, which is the UK and I plus the Nordics. Uh, Jabra is part of uh, GN Store Nord, which is a Danish company. And uh, we're on the Danish Stock Exchange, proud European company. Uh, GN Store Nord uh, has got a long history. So we're about 150 years old, about 6000 employees across the globe. Uh, and we trade everywhere uh, uh, in every region. Um, interestingly, we also have a hearing aid side of the company called Resound as well. And uh, it was last year, I think, or the year before, we celebrated our 150 year anniversary. So we've been in uh, telecoms for a long, long time. Wow, 150 years. Wow. So lots of changing. And you know, before we dive into these two new products, um, you know, just give us a little bit of background in terms of, I don't know, how the last 12 months we've been for Jabra. What's happening out there in the marketplace? What what, what business trends are, are really hot right now? Yeah, sure. We were obviously in the, the center of the maelstrom uh, that was caused by the pandemic. Uh, headsets, which is our main business, of course, was it, uh, they were all in very high demand. And uh, from around about March of last year onwards, we had unprecedented demand. And our biggest problem really was making enough headsets to keep people happy. Obviously, we looked after the blue lights and uh, emergency services, healthcare workers, as far as we possibly could, and then focused in on contact centers, which were, of course, the vital link to, uh, to all the customers out there to keep people uh, abreast of where their finances were and insurances, etc., and with uh, government bodies as well. And then, of course, as many of our corporate customers as we could. It was a very, very interesting time, obviously, as the, we had the rush to work from home and dispersing of staff all across the UK. Uh, and that's what caused the, the demand. But I think it's uh, Microsoft have put it that we saw an awful lot of digital transformation in a very, very short space of time. An interesting Jabra since about 2014, our sort of slogans have always been sort of new ways of working and work is not where you go, it's what you do. And we've been saying this sort of um, as our mantra and suddenly it all came true. So uh, we saw uh, all of this happening right in front of our faces. It was exactly what we've been trying to preach, that you can get fantastic productivity. And sure enough, the, all the studies are showing that productivity has shot up with people working remotely. So we think that hybrid working clearly is here to stay. And there's lots of studies on this at the moment. Um, I, I noticed something from the CIPD, which is the Chartered Institute of Personnel and Development, and uh, they were saying that 70% of people who were working from home reckoned that they'd actually double their productivity, as well as having a fantastic work-life balance and being able to concentrate on some things that they've not been able to do before. So the, the feeling is that around about 40% of those people who got sent home are unlikely to be permanent office workers again in the future. So what we're seeing now is, of course, large companies reconsidering their office space, reconsidering how they manage their staff, uh, reconsidering the well-being of their staff as well, because that's posed a lot of challenges in the last year. Not everybody has been as uh, fortunate as companies like Jabra, for example. Um, many companies had to uh, furlough staff or possibly lay them off. Uh, and only now are we beginning to see some returns back to the marketplace. So a lot of new considerations going on out there, Rob, and it's uh, some of it is good, some of it is bad, but um, I think now is the period where we start, sad to say, everyone calls it the new normal. Um, for us, it's the normal. Uh, work from anywhere, I think, is, uh, is going to be the mantra. The interesting thing for me is what happens to the office space now that everyone starts to return to work. Obviously, in the short term, there's going to be a lot of... Uh, uh, making sure that not too many staff are there, that all the correct health and safety things are looked after. 
But after that, what do we do with the meeting spaces and how do we accommodate this new world of people being at home and at work at the same time? So these are going to be the interesting trends, I think, to watch for in the next year to two years. Great, thanks. And it's, it certainly is. I, I echo what you've said there. I mean, it's, it's such an exciting time for the industry, um, but also an exciting time for, for workforce transformation and that kind of thing. And, and right at the center of every conversation is is uh, something called video, isn't it, right now? So um, that which leads me nicely on to kind of launching or talking about these new products that you've got at Jabra. Uh, tell us about product number one and uh, uh, what it can do, what, it's, what problems it's solving and, and, you know, where it came from. Yeah, I'll just uh, preempt that and, uh, and say that um, obviously video now is, is the new normal for us all. Um, I think even as families, we were doing Zoom calls, uh, me to my family, uh, that some of them are in Dubai. We were doing quiz nights, we were doing drinks nights, we were doing all sorts of fun and entertainment, as well as, of course, work. And Zoom, Microsoft Teams have taken the first place uh, uh, in the new normal, let's call it. So what we're trying to do at Jabra is to look at how people are going to work again for the future. And the first step of the, that is called the Panacast 50 which is a product that is designed for the new uh, workspace. The Panacast 50 builds on our old uh, Panacast Classic product, which was famous for its 180 degree field of view, which meant that you could get the entire room into a picture, which really suited it to small huddle rooms of perhaps three to six people in a room. Of course, last year in the pandemic, that, uh, that all went a, a little awry. Uh, however, the, the, the Panacast Classic became a work-from-home high-end product. Now we're coming out with the Panacast 50, and this is the first video bar product that we've got with integrated video and sound in the same product. And it's going to be a bar that can be fixed to the wall or on a stand. The same plug-and-play technology, so you can either have it as an all-in-one solution and plug it into your Crestron, HP Slice, or Lenovo Smart Hub, or you can use it as a bespoke, bring it your own device type product and just pop, plop your laptop inside the meeting room and plug it in and hey presto, you are part of the meeting setup. So the Panicast build 50 builds on what we had before. It has intelligent zoom. It has the virtual director in there as well, which means it follows the, the sound of the speakers and can focus in on the speaker. And intelligent zoom goes in and out, uh, much like most of the products. It adapts to the, uh, uh, the surroundings in terms of the light that you've got as well. And it has an intelligence built into the camera as well, so that it does people counting inside the room. So there's two important aspects to this. One is the, the field of view at 180 degrees. Again, utilizes all the offices space. But the 180 degrees is, is very important for uh, actually getting all of the people in the room and seeing them at the same time. And then the intelligence of the camera counts the number of people in the room. So you get social distancing where you will have less people in the room, first of all, and the camera will help you uh, get over that by maximizing the space. And the second thing is it will count the number of people in the room. That's important then because it can give you real time alerts in your policy making as to the number of people you allow in the room at any one time. So that's all done within the camera itself. It's uh, called Edge AI technology, and it doesn't go off into the cloud, so it's safe and secure. And also it has SOC 2 security as well, so that uh, within this new environment where lots of cameras are being used, uh, this is very safe as well. So this is the Panacast P50, uh, as we call it, and it's uh, made for rooms probably of up to around 12 people, uh, and it can extend the sound right across the room as well. And of course, it integrates the great sound technology that Jabra is famous for, as well as the camera technology. Yeah. So that's and, Panacast 50. And certainly for anyone that's not seen the Panacast Classic, you know, the, the 180 uh, you know, degree field of view is, is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? So I can see, you know, how you've taken that field of view and, and really using software, you know, added these additional... I suppose, should we call them COVID safe features in? So, yeah, really good to, to see you adapt into the, to the market as it is right now. Yeah, the cleverness of the video is that we have three integrated cameras there that, and we do video stitching, which is a patented technology from Jabra that takes the images from three uh, 4K cameras 
stitches them all together into one seamless picture of 180 degrees in the room. Very clever technology. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is indeed. Okay, so you've got two through products. What's the second one? The second uh, camera then fills out the range for us because in this new environment where we're going to have new meeting space, out in the, uh, the, the other part of the world, we're going to have the workers dispersed uh, in their homes or working from anywhere else. And so we've designed a personal camera called the Panicast 20, which is a camera that sits on top of your laptop and can be carried around in a bag, so it's very small and fits in your hand. It's not using the 180 degree field of view, but it's a more standard personal camera, obviously aimed at more of the high end uh, of the market. It's got integrated uh, intelligent zoom uh, as well inside of the camera, plus the safety features of the Panicast 50. So much more design for what we're doing today, the personal peer-to-peer -peer time of communications. So when you add our original Panacast camera for huddle rooms, the new Panacast P50, then for meeting rooms, uh, and then you have the work from anywhere camera, which is the personal camera, the Panacast 20. Yeah, great stuff. So effectively a plug and play device, which is great for home workers, I suppose, because you can ship them a device out and, you know, plug and literally plug and play without all the hassle. Absolutely. The, the world is changing out there. The, there's a lot of technologies will take you down one pathway to a more proprietary route. Um, we don't see the world the same. We see that uh, if you want an all-in-one solution, pick and choose the best uh, technologies. And we know that resellers out there have fantastic AV expertise and can advise customers correctly on things of, of that nature. But also, if you want to just set up the office on your own, plug-and-play technology makes it so simple these days. That's really good. Two great video products there. So Nigel, what's the best way to find out more about these products and, and even you know how to buy? Well, go on to our website, website which is www.jabra.com slash panacast. And that's the best way to go find out the new information. Great. And we'll put a link in the description for you as well. Nigel, it's been great talking to you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Been an absolute pleasure, Rob. Thanks very much. And that's it from us. If you've enjoyed today's session, please subscribe to UC Today News and give this video a quick share on social as it's always appreciated. And if you're a UC fan and want to be part of the conversation, you can join us using the UC News hashtag on LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook. And our social links are in the description. So I'm Rob Scott from UC Today. Thanks for watching.